What's up, guys? I am back again with the lovely Joanna Banana. Hi. We are, um, well, we're going to delve into just a little bit of paranormal activity, I guess you would call it. So we just got done playing Demonologist, which is a video game where we um, hunt ghosts and demons and then exercise them. I don't know, it's like phasmophobia, but on crack. And um, I thought that it would be apropos to do a sort of just chatting on the back of that, where we talk about um, some paranormal things. I guess not all things paranormal. Mostly ghostly, but we are going to start off with a uh, exorcism video. So, oh yes. So this is... A Vice documentary, so, I mean, depending on where you lean on the left and right paradigm, you might take that with a little bit of salt. Although Vice did just go bankrupt, so that's just a fact. But, um, let's get into this. This is a day in the life of a modern American exorcist. Wage between good and evil. All right. There is a war that's being waged between good and evil. Faith in God will lead us in one direction. Oh, my God. All right. I don't want to talk about this guy just coming off the bat. Would you trust this guy if, like, if if somebody that you loved was like, he's like, don't worry, I'll take on the demons. I don't know. Like, based on his looks? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like even, <laughs> he doesn't seem very formidable. I, feel I like, don't know. <laughs> I feel like I need my exorcist with just a little bit of muscle. Like, I need, or, or he needs to be like a, a hurt Latin. Like, I need him to kind of look a little bit like Hassan Piker, but with more <laughs> scruff and like a strong, strong, like Mexican accent. The lack of faith will lead us in another. I have seen many manifestations of evil. An exorcism is the only cure for one who's truly demonically possessed. The Catholic Church knows that most of these claims are baloney. They cling to this because they're afraid to give up that last vestige of the supernatural. If there's no demons, then maybe there's no devil. And if there's no devil, maybe there's no God. Wait, wait, wait. There's a series called The Exorcist on Fox? Yeah, I've never seen it, though. <sighs> I kind of want to now. <laughs> Just because it's like... Because I feel like this came out like this is what the real exorcism is about. This like you think it's some fucking handsome dude that's out here doing these exorcisms? No, it's this man. <laughs> it's <laughs> this fucking man. It's like, come on, bro. All right, come on, Father David. God. Prove That's what I'm saying, bro. Do it. All right, The Exorcist. I am Father Vincent Lampert. I've been a Catholic priest for the past 25 years. I was appointed by my archbishop to be the exorcist for Indianapolis. It was not a position that I sought, but in 2005, the archbishop selected me for the role. Is Indianapolis known for having a lot of money? I have no idea. Look at this fucking church. Bro, the Catholics have so much money, this is ridiculous. It's an interesting layout. I know, it's sort of like, because I'm wondering, it's like if you park here, you get, there's like a whole walkway. Man, could you imagine the gardeners? <laughs> God. Yeah, bro, Indianapolis. This is this is a uh, shitty indie. Wait, no, I think you said Indianapolis. That I sought, but in 2005, the Archbishop selected me for the role. Wait, wait. My Archbishop, five years. I was appointed by my Archbishop to be the exorcist for Indianapolis. Indianapolis. It was not a position that I sought, but in 2005, the Archbishop selected me for the role. He told me that he wanted a priest who believed in the reality of evil, but not one who would be so gullible to believe that everybody who came to him 
was actually up against the forces of evil. I just want you to know when you see all these structures and buildings, Joe, they paid not a single cent in taxes for all this shit. Yeah. You paid more for taxes than all of these guys here. It's crazy. Everybody here just want, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to get political, but I am. When I was appointed, I guess I it's not political. It's more officially appointed I guess that's kind of to the United States. That number has now grown to around 50. That's the real scary thing. Some people will dabble in the things of the occult, believing that perhaps they're just fun and entertaining. But what they may not fully realize is that they're dabbling with evil and they could be opening up an entry point for evil into their lives. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Is it racist to say that white people church puts me to sleep? <laughs> what? I don't know. I, I'm just asking you. White people church puts me to sleep. The Catholic, it's just fucking, it's a lot of sitting and standing. If it wasn't for that, then I'd be fucking knocked out. But just even this dude, just look at how he's staring at that fucking wafer. It's like, bruh. Yeah. The black churches have a lot more fucking sass to them, bruh. Then the fucking choir comes on and that fucking big girl that's like 300 pounds sings some shit that you ain't never heard come out of a fucking <laughs> oh voice. you like, oh my lord, sister fucking. And then you go to the church functions and you're like, who made this macaroni and cheese? And you realize every bite <laughs> is like 770 calories, bruh. It's like, oof. And you're like, I know why she that big and why her whole family look like little circles, but they can all fucking sing well, I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm just going off. It's, I, I love black churches, man. You got to go. You got to go to one if you haven't been before. I strongly suggest it. This is, because this shit is boring. <laughs> you go to a black church, they <laughs> spice it up a little bit. I'm just saying. Like, look at him staring at that fucking wafer. He's like, oh. I'm the pastor here at St. Malachy Parish in Brownsburg, <laughs> I'm Indiana. sorry, bro. Just... The parish has approximately 2,500 families. Or it's just like, around like 9,000 parishioners. There are many people who laugh at the notion of demonic possession or even reality itself. But the Catholic Church does teach that evil is a reality and it is personified in the person of the devil. So over the I've years, exorcism has undergone many different transformations. You never have? No. I got told to stop playing with one before because I would fucking start flicking them at people when I was in high school. I went to a Catholic high school and I would fucking... I used to tell people that I was, uh... Uh... I would, I would say shit like, yeah, no, I'm, um... I'm, uh... I'm an atheist. And then it, like, got around... To the point that even senior year, Katz was like, I heard you were atheist, fool. I, was like, I don't know where you heard that, bro. It's because I would tell people that shit. Freshman year. That was funny. But Why nah. does this creature have a face on his crotch? Because uh, it's supposed to be a demon. It's supposed to, like, you know. It's like, oh, you don't like your ass eating, huh? And then, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is all weird, freaky shit, right? Like, even it Catholics is, are just like. It just looks weird. I don't know. I feel like there are some people nowadays. I feel like furries would love this shit, right? Or is that just me? I don't fucking know. I think for I think you'd find some like because no, like here's the thing, right, Joe? And and then we'll continue because I can kind of go on for hours about this particular topic. But I feel like anything now that like you can think up in terms of like a punishment, there's some <laughs> dude that would fucking that would get him rock hard. Oh my gosh. I think if you throw that guy into 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 to hell, I think he wins. I think the demons don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. And is that and is that in a way the uh the ultimate nihilist? I don't know, I don't think that made any sense. Alright, let's continue. Exorcism goes back even before the time of Christ. But exorcisms became truly efficacious or real with the coming of Christ. The oldest formalized version of the rite of exorcism would date back to 1614. It was revised in 1999. Some of the manifestations I've witnessed over the years seem kind of uh, incredible, incredulous. 
I think the manifestations that one sees in movies, such as The Exorcist, all that truly is possible. Eyes rolling in the back of the head, foaming at the mouth. That's just growling, lazy, bro. Snarling like a wild animal, uh, strong stenches. Uh, the temperature in the room will drop. Bodily contortions. I remember a person who began to love it. Okay, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> The only thing I can say is that, like, he literally just did the thing that every liar does where he's like, you know, just like in the movies, it's just like that. That's exactly how it happens. It's like, really? You're telling me that the devil wouldn't come up with something different than fucking uh, whatever director for The Exorcist? I should probably know that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe any of this shit now. I've, trust me, I've had my misgivings for the Catholic Church, but still. Vincent, I thought I could trust you. I don't know. You're telling me it's just like the movies? He's saying he had a bitch levitate on him? Will drop bodily contortions. I remember a person who began to levitate during the exorcism. You have a video of that? Now, these manifestations no. are meant to distract skip over that? Okay. the exorcist. And I learned quickly that the exorcist should not focus on the manifestations of evil, but focus on the power of God that is at work. Okay, that's kind of hard because like you've you can pray very hard for some shit to happen and then nothing happens and this bitch is flying right now. So yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Like she's fucking like levitating six feet off the ground doing backflips and you're like, don't worry. God will keep me through this. Is it the same God that you prayed to not get a parking ticket for that you're going to have to pay that parking ticket like 500 bucks? It's like, shut up, Paul. I'm, like, I'm just saying. Maybe we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> when the bitch starts flying, that's when I start leaving. Okay, to be fair, though, that's also every black preacher, too. You can't go to a black <laughs> preacher in the middle of the night and be like, listen, bro, I need you to perform an exorcism. What? Close the door. Lock. Good luck. You better call the police. The bitch sounds crazy. This is like, damn. <laughs> but you go, to, you go to this motherfucker, he will. He'll show up right in the middle of the night. I got you. Don't worry of God that is at work. And I respect that. You know what, Paul? Fuck, or Vincent, yeah. whatever his name is. Fuck it. There's an international association of exorcists which received official Vatican approval just about two years ago. I am a member of that organization. And there's a gap. Oh, shit. There is a black exorcist. Hold ago. on. I am a member. Of what the fuck are you doing here, bro? Hold <laughs> on. I'll, actually, I'm in his way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off screen for a second. So you guys can see the black exorcist. Look, listen. I want everybody in here to listen to me, and this is not racist. If you see this man as your exorcist, he doesn't even look like he's paying attention in class. He's like, yeah, yeah, if the bitch is levitating, whatever. Don't don't go for him. Go for this guy. You see this dude? Or the dude taking notes? This motherfucker is playing with his face right now. Everybody else is taking it so seriously. But you catch this motherfucker here, and he's like, man, what am I going to get for dinner? I don't know. Shit, I'm kind of hungry. You know, that food court is looking nice. I wonder if they got pork. Oh, shit, I can't eat pork. Can I eat pork? Can Catholics eat pork? And then this is what he's thinking about. <laughs> Instead of learning about how to dodge the vomit that the bitch is throwing at you. <laughs> they're like, he's like, hmm, ducking is not permitted, but try leaning to the left. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. I don't know. I feel like this is the only thing in, like, if I was a preacher, this is the only class that I would pay hard attention to would be, like, the not get possessed by the demon class. And, yeah. And he's just fucking, he's gone. Damn. All right. All right, Father Jefferson. It's not racist. I'm black. Shut up. For that organization... And there's a gathering in Rome every other year. Demonic possession is extremely rare. One out of every 5,000 people who contact me is a genuine case of demonic possession. Hello, Mary. How are you? Obviously, this is a ministry that I cannot do alone. So there's a lady that works with me. And I jokingly like to refer to her as my ex or assistant. She's really the first line of defense. He was so fucking happy about that joke. Yeah, he was. He was. Did you see the little <laughs> smile at the end? I refer to her as my yeah. ex or assistant. Look at that. He's like, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I made it funny. They're going to like that one. Good job, Vincent. That wasn't terrible. I still don't believe that you're fucking out here fighting demons, though, bro. 
still believe, like, if a demon sees you, he's like, oh, hell yeah. All right. Watch out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, bruh. She's really the first line of defense. The majority of people that she talks to just need a listening ear. I can help answer any questions that you have. Well, I've got a revolving list right now of some people that are local because they would be in our diocese. I have that one guy from southern Indiana that keeps calling. And, and I don't think he remembers all the times that we've talked because he always acts like no one has ever talked to me or ever tried to help me. No and that's what help. gives credence to the fact that this is truly something of a mental health issue as opposed to something that's demonic. Of course, it doesn't help, too, because I also... You know, I was just talking with another priest. He was telling me that he just doesn't believe any of this, mm -hmm. you know. Some people will accept what the church believes and teaches about the reality of evil. Some people won't. Okay, come on. Quit being fucking snobby with that shit. It's like one thing to believe, like, what is not seen. And it's another thing to be like, yeah, no, nah, I'm guessing, you know, yeah, I'm sure there's like this 130-pound chick that could just throw you across the room and spit fucking acid out of her throat and speak in fucking like languages that she's never heard like, yeah still joe you, I, you, I know you're being nice but honestly vincent shows up look at him he's he's like i will exercise i will <laughs> exercise your cousin right now How much? i wouldn't want him to go alone i want, <laughs> you don't want to two other priests with him well not even what it's like two other priests <laughs> He's got a book and a bottle of water. Avon. Is that water? I think that's water. No, no, no. He's got Fiji water. How about that? Damn it. That's a glass bottle. I'd watch out. Uh, I don't know. I, I would have faith in, in the father. But I'd also be ready to like. I'm like, all right, but this is the kind of deal where if you can't get the demon out, you get the demon inside you and then jump out the window, like the movie. I'd, I'd still want another priest. <laughs> still want another guy there. You're like, look, <laughs> can you get the fucking Latin one that was exercised from the church, but then came back and he's like, oh, I need to find God again. God, that's. Uh, let me write an exorcist movie, bro. I will be fucking fire. Steven Spielberg, come on. Give me money. All right, let's get back to the balding exorcist. Shut up. I can talk. Some people won't. I am Dr. Michael Shermer, publisher of Skeptic Magazine and the head of the 55,000 member strong. Ah, so he's the Magazine. asshole. Okay, cool. I have two graduate degrees, one in experimental psychology and the other in the history of science. So my specialty really is understanding belief systems, how the mind works, uh, related to why we believe anything that we believe in. The investigation of exorcisms has been uh, popular uh, since we started the magazine, really because it, it kind of comes and goes depending on what's hot in pop culture. You know, the Pew Research shows one in 10. Americans claim that they've seen an exorcism. I suspect most of those are people that have seen The Exorcist or watched a documentary on TV or something like that. You know, if you go on YouTube and just type in demon possession, there's you know, thousands of videos. You can spend an hour and be an expert on what they're supposed to look like. So the church has these, uh, you know, sort of list of criteria for what would constitute a possession. Speaking in tongues, glossolalia, is one of them. Spouting off this sort of sequence of syllables and just, you know, it sounds nonsensical, and then somebody interprets it. Now we know because uh, we've had linguists analyze recordings of what is being said, and they say this is not a language. It's just bad. <laughs> you know, it, it's literally a psychodrama. Bruh. The music. Oh my god, that's so funny. Have you? I, I don't know if you. I, I don't know how what kind of church background that you have, but like, it's it's like you you would see a lot of people speaking in tongues, right? Because they would they would pray so hard and they would speak in tongues, and like um, <laughs> the fact that he's like, it's not a language, it's just babble. I'm like that would fucking trigger so many people in the church I used to go to, bruh. Oh, and, the, and he says it like that, too. You know they're picking this guy to specifically be. It's almost like he reminds me of the dude from Better Call Saul. 
God. Like the chanting, the dancing, the singing, and all that, it gets you caught up into it. It's like a rave. You feel the emotions, you feel the brain chemistry changing, the hormones pumping through your body. Uh, the contorted uh, body postures and the writhing on the ground, the utterances. Yeah, I've never been to a church like that before, bro. I'm not going to lie I've actually you. gone up. If I went to church and I saw people just like writhing on the ground like that at the end of every service. It's weird. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't like. That's. I want to say that I feel like most churches aren't <laughs> like this. Oh. They have like a designated match. <laughs> bro, specifically, they're like, all right, no, get on the mat. Start rolling. <laughs> It's like, all right, you're done? All right, come on. We got to get you out of there because we got other people that want to pray. Come on. Oh, God. Do you think God is like, yeah, this is exactly what I want you to do. Like, <laughs> if God is up there, he's like, yep, <laughs> this is what makes me feel good. And then that guy's like the manager. <laughs> he's like, hey, yeah, you, watch out. You're flailing too much. <laughs> watch your foot. Okay, all right. He's like, wait, you're speaking oh, Spanish. That doesn't count. That's not That's tongues. Funny. Get out of here. It's like, bro. <laughs> Come on. Sitting on the ground, the utterances, it's just imitation. Uh, I've actually gone up to one of these, and I can almost feel like, okay, here I go. I can almost feel it coming on. Like, and I wasn't even a believer. This is imitation. It's role playing. Yeah. Oh, what? The snot? Is that uh, is, is the snot the necessary to get into heaven? I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm going to be honest. I mean, I'm already not going to make it, but. I don't know if I would pass the snot test. I think you know what. She 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 deserves automatic entry. Period. Whatever happens in life, she deserves automatic entry in hell. I don't care if she murders five priests after this. She is on a fucking YouTube video with snot all on her face on the church ground in dirt, crying. If you don't get into heaven for that, then there is no God. At least in my yeah. opinion. Like, what, what else? What else do they want you to do? Be a good person? Fuck that. Just fucking start flailing around once a month. <laughs> and, fucking, <laughs> and you're good. Exorcisms being nonsensical from a scientific perspective. They're also dangerous. There have been people killed, suffocated, tortured. It's not a harmless exercise in entertainment. It's potentially very dangerous. Once you start to believe something the confirmation bias kicks in in which you look for confirming evidence that it's true and you ignore the disconfirming evidence everybody does it unfortunately uh this leads to great distortions of belief there's no such thing as the paranormal or the supernatural there's just the normal and the natural and the things we haven't explained yet hell is real bro this is where i perform my most intense case of exorcism it took place five years ago here in this convent. I thought he was going to say I jumped out of that window up there, right there. I was, <laughs> like, oh, I was like, oh, damn. I had to escape the demon. The items I will use for exorcism. And in addition, in my bag, I also have the holy water that I would use. Is it in a super so? Oh, no, never. We came into the space. The spouse who was Boring. very strong and confident in his belief. The woman who was afflicted sat down here. You could smell in the air the sense of perspiration, just the anxiety of what was about to take place. You can't tell stories very well, can you, Vincent? Because I'm not feeling like I'm No aware. sooner did the drops of water hit the head of the lady than the manifestations began immediately. She exhibited vocal outbursts speaking in languages that she didn't otherwise know, exhibiting strength based on like the capacity of a person, and also <laughs> an aversion to things of a sacred nature. And all this was going on as I was praying. Sancte Michel Archangeli, defendi nos in prelio, contra ne quitiam et in sit kyrie eleison, Christe eleison. And so I commanded the demon Leviathan to depart immediately. And then the demon that had been speaking in this very strong, authoritative voice began to speak like a little baby and then looked at me and said, Hail Mary, full of grace. And there was a shriek and all the manifestations of evil ended because the presence of evil was now completely gone. Yes, you're right. 
I feel like he thinks like that's like the most badass like yes, and then they all ended because the evil was completely gone. It's like, bro. The thing I don't get is why do they only bring a tiny bottle? I would wash my clothes in holy water and bring like a super soaker of holy water why do they always bring a tiny bottle i think because after a while you just turn it into a wet t-shirt contest instead of a fucking exorcism so spray in the whole room <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly bro because i feel like a lot of the possessed are like these like really young and um uh voluptuous like latin women from like the neighboring villages. Oh, never mind. This is Indianapolis. Okay, I was thinking of like an exorcism in like rural fucking Spain. I'm like, you can't just turn it into a wet T-shirt contest, Joe. Where these fucking <laughs> the pastors are also fighting their temptation. They're like, ah, oh. they're like, yeah, pastor, you're looking at the fucking tits, aren't you? Again. It's like, no, 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 demon, please. <laughs> and then it's just like the other dude gets the camera. He's like, this could go on fucking OnlyFans. And then the pastor's like, what? And then it's just like exorcisms on OnlyFans now. Pastor's making hella money. Fuck it. I'm subscribing. It's like, yeah, no, I'm just watching the exorcism. That's all. It's called Holy Fans. (laughs) It's an exorcism. Bring the the holy water super soaker. It's just regular water. He's just... Uh, Bruh, give me a fucking animator. And it's a wrap. All right, I think this is basically done. What's this? Are you gonna People give us a will good believe outro? what okay. they will, so it's not really my task to try to convince people of something. Because if you're a person... You know who says that a lot, Joe? Liars. Have you ever had a liar say, you know what, you can believe what you want to believe, okay? Yes, the, yes, I have. Liars say that a lot. <laughs> People will believe what they will. My like, task... On, to try to convince people of something. It's not my job to make you believe me. You begin with the Because if you're my friend, you'll believe me. People that may come from more of a scientific background may begin with the premise that I have to see in order to believe. Okay, see, that's so manipulative to me. That's like, if you're of faith, you'll believe me. But if you're one of those like secular science people, then, you know, I guess you'll need more evidence to be convinced. And it's like... Yeah. All right, that's a little manipulative Catholic Church. I'm not going to lie. I see that, that was short. That was, was. Was Was there like a part two or that's all? He's just going to leave you like that. He's just going to leave it like that. He's going to say, I'm going to tell you one story about a de- <laughs> an exorcism. And you know what? If you don't believe me, you don't believe me. And if you do... Then I guess you're holy. Peace. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, bruh, come on. I, I'm not buying it, and I'm not buying that you are fucking out here just dropping demons. Like I'm not finding that. Find like I'm not believing that Beelzebub was looking at this guy, and he's like, oh my god. I hope I don't run into this dude again. I'll have to leave eventually. Fuck out of here, bro. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> I guess those are demons. It's still I'm still up in the air, but leaning towards no because. This was a little bit manipulative, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> especially towards the end there. Um, but if a ghost makes it onto the news, it has to be real, right? Or wrong? I don't know. Sometimes they just report to get your attention or get the views. Yeah, I mean, this isn't Honolulu, so... I hope a lot of shit... Does a lot of shit happen in Honolulu? Uh. Hmm, is the Honolulu Police Department's training academy in Waipahu... <laughs> Why'd she say it like that? Some say it is. Honolulu! Halloween night, the department has allowed us to share another video, the unexplained paranormal experiences of a former security guard. During the day, it's a pretty busy place with all the officers, training staff, and recruits on campus. But once the sun goes down, oh, this place is totally different. It's dark, no traffic, no pedestrians, nothing. And that's when strange things start to happen. That's why I hate coming here at night. But, believe it or not, HPD has overnight security oh, hell no. to keep an eye on this When place. the fuck did my Uncle Willie just come down here and decide to... <laughs> Like, yeah, it's fucking haunted down there. I'll tell you that shit. It's like, bruh. <laughs> what 
the fuck? Like, all right. I like the glasses though. Oh my god. His name is Sloppy Co Toppy Tuesdays. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Sloppy Toppy Tuesdays. Hold on. Where is this going on? I'm just. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they read my uh, oh I'm title like... wrong, and then that's what popped into my head. <laughs> Sloppy Toppy Tuesdays. This is like okay. Like, could you imagine it's just like, you know, you come home from work and you read that. Like, it's like Monday, you come home from work, you read, looking at the calendar, you're like, oh, well, I'm married yeah. to the most amazing woman in the, in the world. It's like, she's like, oh, yeah, we're watching scary movies. I was like, I thought I was getting some sloppy toppy. Oh, no, it says spoopy. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> all right, put on the movie. <laughs> it's like, you sound disappointed. I'm not, just put on. I'm so excited to watch this movie. No, I'm very excited for um. God damn it! All right, <laughs> be so mad. All right, let's back get back. To Willie. Let's get back to Willie. Like, yeah, I saw that fucking ghost right there. So um, I feel like it's just white people. He's like, I see ghosts all day there. long. They give me my paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. One of them is a friend of mine named oh, Tony. Oh shit! A ghost? Well, one night as he was doing his building checks. Oh hell no, nah, bro. That's one thing. That's one reason why I'm not a security guard because I'm very out of shape. Okay, I know this. So nobody's gonna look at me and think, "Yeah, he's securing some shit." Like if I get a hold of you, bro, it's bad. But I'm not about to walk the perimeter with a shirt that's tighter than fucking my budget right now. Like, God. You heard a sound like wood clanking together. Now, no one was supposed to be here that night, so he went to go check it out. As he passed the K-9 building, he could hear the dogs going nuts in the kennels, running around, barking, kicking their food dishes, so he knew he wasn't the only one who could hear it. When he got near the SWAT house, the noise got louder and louder. As he looked at the building, he noticed that all the wooden shutters were opening and closing repeatedly, but there was no one standing next to the windows working the shutters. What's more, it was a windless night, so the wind wasn't blowing like the just shutters standing there. either. <laughs> Tony took a few steps closer. My whole thing is he's just like, oh, man, I don't know what to do. Bro, if you don't get your fucking ass, there's nothing, there is nothing that you fucking... To the SWAT house, and all at once, the shutters stopped moving. It was dead quiet. Even the dogs stopped barking. Tony slowly walked towards the SWAT house. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but they got this guy who's like a retired cop to like read, and he is reading like he is fucking, it's his third day in second grade class. And it's it's kind of bothered me because I feel like he's following it with his finger, and I can almost see it. Peeked in through the window and said, Hello? Anyone here? But no one answered, and the building was empty. Do you, you can hear it, right? Or is it just me? Who would he expect to answer if, like, well, no. they're moving the windows and the doors? No, but I mean, like, the guy is clearly reading, like, very poorly. I don't, I don't know. I feel like... Have you ever... <laughs> like, just listen when he's talking, okay? Because maybe I'm tripping, all right? But I feel like... Have you ever been in class with, the, with like, the dude who you know is reading super fucking slow... And you're like, God yeah. damn, he has the longest paragraph. All right. Yeah. Have that same mentality right now. Just peeked in through the window and said, Hello? Anyone here? But no one answered, and the building was empty. But yeah. Wait, <laughs> bruh. Tony's story doesn't end there. <laughs> A couple of nights later, Tony was doing his regular routine. Oh, my God, the front bruh. Gate, making sure it was secured and doing his checks around the property. Everything seemed normal. And of course, <laughs> he was the only one at the academy. So, so he decided to sit down in the breezeway to pass the time. But as he stared out into the parking lot, he noticed an old lady dressed in white walking towards him. What the fuck? At first, he thought the lady may have been lost or needed help. She's thick as fuck, so eh? waved at her to get her attention. But she didn't respond and kept walking toward him. The funny thing crossed his mind. He didn't hear the gate open. So how did she get in? As Tony stood up to ask the old lady, she disappeared. 
funny talk. <laughs> he disappeared. Oh, no. Not Come on. again. But this time, he decided he better call his supervisor about it. So he turned, and guess who's standing there? Yep, the lady in white. And guess what? She starts slowly walking towards him. Manly lady. Eyes fixed. Literally, I'm like, <laughs> and you know what was scary? She was trans. And he's like, Tony was like, oh, no, I cannot do this again, not with another trans ghost. And then he quit the next day. Him. By now, Tony is freaking out. He's so scared. He can't move. Okay, so you're not telling this story. You're reading this from a script. Poorly, I might add, right? So, do you even know Tony? Is this like, like, come on. Wait, this was on the news? Wow, bro. Y'all really don't got shit going on in Honolulu. All right, thank you. You can't hear the video as much? Okay, I'll turn up the video just a little bit. I heard mine. I don't know if it's yours or mine. I just heard mine. Okay, because it's... it's... <sighs> this is bad, bro. He's frozen. She's so close to him that he notices that her face looks angry. He tries to yell or scream. Nothing looks like my cousin out. David, eh? <laughs> then whoosh. She disappears again. God, you Tony let out so a bad. sigh of relief and slowly looked around. But this Thank time, you for no two. one was there. He <laughs> sat no, back bro. down I'm to not... gather his thoughts. Can we Thank let, you, can Sarah read now, He couldn't believe that the ghost appeared twice and was coming after him. Tony was about to stand up and call his supervisor when guess who decides to show up? <laughs> yep, the old lady was what back and this time she was sitting right across from him. This was too much for Tony to handle. He sprang up and booked it the heck out of there. That was against that actor's contract, by the way. He's never supposed to run on camera. See? <laughs> Tony should have taken my advice the first time. And none of this would have happened. Where's the kid show up from? I don't fucking know. This dude's telling a really bad story. All right. I would like to sincerely apologize for that video, okay? I, it made it on the news somehow. <laughs> All right, fine. I got some good... I, all right, no, that was shit. That was shit. Don't believe it. I got some good ghost footage here. Okay, so these are ghosts caught on camera. So this is more like... Um, there's no context to it. It's just like footage of shit happening. And um, I think we should try to call bullshit or not bullshit on the videos that okay. we see and why. I bet the first one's going to be bullshit. All right. That's your bet. Let's do it. So what was that? A thing that fell off the side? Yeah. Uh, Invisible string. No, I don't know. <laughs> I could see a string, but a string pulling the silverware? Or maybe... I think this could easily be a string, though. Hold on. For the drawer. So, so something fell out of here, and then it falls off a camera, so you really can't see it. Okay. Now, here's the thing about the drawer. That's a little that that that's why I don't think it's a string. Okay. Now, if we're talking physics, like, if he pulled it hard enough for the silverware to fall out, that's one thing. But it, he, it pulls out and then stops. And then there's a good, like, second, and then the silverware starts popping out. It's just one, though, right? Like, why wouldn't it do all of them? Uh... Yeah, they just do one. We're going to do another one? It's just weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> another one. Okay. It's just weird how they're flying out. Oh, door's gonna close. Oh, maybe not. That's just a strong fart escaping from the <laughs> chair. Oh, 
That's the weakest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry. I really am, but, like, come on. <sighs> What's the string that you would use that would be in, like, Invisible? Is it, like, fishing line or whatever? Yeah, fishing line, I'm thinking. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't like how it's passing right over my head. I've seen stuff like that before. There what is? Oh, is that house? Wow. That's blurry as hell. Yeah, bro, you guys are the fucking worst. If you guys don't have the balls to get out, don't even fucking take a video. Go, 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 go. Okay, what did you see? Oh. Nope. Boy. We're going fucking slow. I want to see this shit. Because I saw nothing, and so far they're bitches to me. All right, zoom in. What is there? And zoom in. And there's nothing. You guys are bitches. Go, go. I was weak. Oh, it's like a shadow person? Because look, you can kind of see they're trailing a little bit. Are they going to disappear? It's weird. Oh. I That's don't know. crazy. I think maybe cameras might do a thing where if you're far enough, because I want to see other people from this distance, right? Like, I want to see a normal yeah. person. Because what if they're just far enough for, like, the camera to pick them up as a ghost or something? If that makes any sense and then when you get out but i don't know if it would look that way i'm not like an expert in camera looks but like you know there's orbs flying too Bruh. this is grand slammer oh shit did you see that no all right, look over, uh, look over here, right here. Oh. You can see my mouse, right? Yeah. All right, look over there. Right. That's fucking trippy. All right, what about this one? Okay, so this light turned on. I feel like this is the reason why ghost hunters aren't really taken seriously anymore. I need to find this video that I used to have. But it's like fingers on my camera. Bruh, I want to see it. Oh, what the fuck was that? Let me see if I can find it. Oh, something was go something's going inside his door. So that. Wait, was that a ghost? No. The, okay, this is a camera. Oh, what the heck? This is a camera thing. 
Look, because this is a dude and his dog, right? Because you can see kind of, you can see like this little yeah. shadow here going. So if it's a ghost dog and his ghost master, then it's just like a camera effect. Trying to hear this guy. And then he hits the point where he starts to disappear too because for some reason the camera can't pick it up there. That's weird. Yeah, no, nah, this is just a camera effect. The fucking dog gave it away. I'm not, I don't believe that there are dogs out here haunting people. Dogs are nice. Huh. Okay. How much? How many hauntings do you think are uh, based on pure fucking pettiness? I don't know. Like, how, how many, like, oh, she just thinks I'm going to leave her alone just because I'm dead? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. And then, like, <laughs> there's a spirit that is latched on to you. We do not know why. He's just, like, fucking just bouncing his knee like this bitch is going to fucking. Nah, she's stuck with me. So to go set off a fire alarm. Amazing. Caralho, bicho, que que é isso, mano? Cuidado, Judá. What? Are you guys armed? Why do you guys have silencers? Cuidado, mano. Que que é isso, mano? So this is the cartel versus ghosts. Like, what's going on here? Mano, não tem nada. Caralho, mano. Que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. Mano, que que é isso, bicho? Okay, I feel like if there's one thing you don't want during a ghost hunt, it's like AK-47s. Right? Yeah. Cuz did <laughs> bro, like this is the most Mano, dangerous thing é ever. Isso, You're not going to kill the ghost. Caralho, mano, bora, mano. Vai, mano, vai, vai, mano. Vai, mano, vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. <laughs> Hell no, nah. see, bruh. Hell no, nah. and they're running, bruh. Caralho, mano, que que é isso, bicho? Hell no, nah, bruh. Ghost hunting with assault rifles. That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Doctor's room, okay. Haunted hospitals are the worst. That ghost just wanted some fucking pussy. Ghost is like, you up? <laughs> oh, look at the dog. Even the dog is like, what? Really? Can you see it? It's just a picture. It's just like a <laughs> face right here. Yeah. This is the dumbest shit ever, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You are not ex you are not proving that ghosts exist. So this is your girlfriend that took the picture of you or Or this is just some weird porn you're watching. It's like, I mean, I like Harley Quinn too, but I don't need to tell everybody that's what I'm jacking to. Oh, 
Okay, I think are the rest of these just pictures? Yeah, these are just pictures. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm not very, very convinced about ghosts. Now, this is an hour and 25 minute video. We are not even going to anywhere near touch this whole fucking video. We've got about 20 minutes left of this bullshit that I'm dealing that that I'm willing to put up with Joe. Um, what are you? Do you have that video that you're going to play? Oh, I'm searching on my phone. Oh, it's like a personal video. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was in my living room. See, bro, you, <laughs> you got, how are, how are you dealing with ghosts, bro? Uh. I have holy water. Bro, do you think that would work or just get your floor wet? Um, I bless my, I bless my apartment almost every month when I start feeling weird or odd. So like, why do you think it is? Do you think it's like buried on like a um, like like a a, 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 a grave site or something? I have no idea. I don't want to know. Bruh, I'd want to know. All right, top twenty scariest ghost videos. Let's do it. Turn off the lights and go full screen nope. because it's the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year. The Tower of Terror. In what's supposed to be the happiest place on earth, an ominous mock grand hotel towers above the awestruck happy crowd below. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror in Disney's California Adventure Park is a free fall ride that's dedicated to the popular TV show, The Twilight Zone. Now over the years, the Tower of Terror attraction became known for one particularly creepy real life ghost story. Have you seen the movie, The Tower of Terror, that came out uh, um, with like the, uh, uh, it came out with the ride. I haven't. It was like a, it was like a Disney Channel original movie. It was so bad. But I, it made me want to like ride the ride though. They did that. It is said that a Disney cast member suddenly suffered a massive heart attack and passed away while welcoming guests onto the ride. Many visitors and employees claim to have seen his ghost and have reported random noises and flickering of the lights, even when the ride is not in operation. Sam Worth was visiting the park and recorded videos to capture the fun trip with his family. To his surprise, he also captured something he did not expect at the Tower of Terror. Fake. <laughs> it's okay. A strange translucent apparition can be seen on one of the levels at the Tower of Terror. Now, many of Sam's viewers believe the figure to simply be another hologram on the ride. But I looked through hours of footage of this ride on YouTube and I have not found any evidence of there being a hologram at this particular spot on the ride. In fact, this is the area on the ride where a picture is taken of the guests. So the creepy apparition remains a mystery. But Sam isn't the only one who captured bizarre footage on the Tower of Terror. Eh, In this next video, a maintenance this man thing. is doing a... Bang. This is the most replayed video. Or the most replayed part of this video. Who's that? Who's that, Max? What the action? Can you go... Can you go see that? Oh. Max! Where is it? I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, but... Something what is that? Okay, see, this is the shit that's really kind of scary. It's like when you go urban exploring, right, and you try to find something spooky. You know what you're gonna find? A homeless man ready to stab you. That's all you're gonna find. There's nothing in the sewers. There's nothing in the abandoned buildings, especially not ghosts. Okay. Please don't go there. I'm just saying. I'm just giving it up to. To my viewers, I, I don't know. I have to tell these people this sometimes. I have to make five, six videos telling people to fucking call a lawyer anytime. Cops are not your friends. Don't talk to them. 
And I will tell you the same thing, Joanna. I don't care. If 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 a cop is picking you up just to find out what's going on and he just wants to check on everything, that's fine. You can check on everything with your lawyer, which you want. So don't talk to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally, don't talk to me. What a lawyer. Fuck you. Anyway. No. What the... So what is that? That's one of those Hello? candles that open up and it's like a it blooms like a flower with a bunch of other candles. What is that? Max, what is that? Hello? Is there somebody those here? Eyes. That's just creepy as what the hell? Is anyone here? Oh, you don't see the eyes anymore, mm. bruh. What is that? Oh! Oh, hell no. What is that? Why wouldn't the dog react? It's a homeless dude. It's a fucking homeless dude. Like, what? It what looks did, like he's wearing a leather jacket and a button-up shirt. What did I say you would find out there? I said you would find homeless people. What did you find? You found a homeless person. Now you're scared. Oh! Look at Jackie. A creepy little toy is just lying in the middle of the it's path. It's clearly just some homeless dude's lair. Happy birthday. Omega turns around and is shocked out of his skin as he sees a man lurching toward him out of a crevice in the tunnel. Was he lurching toward him though? Or was he just kind of mm -hmm. like, who is this fucking dude in here? A wall. He just makes a run for it. Now, Mr. Omega says that he is absolutely stunned by what happened. He has no idea why anyone would be hiding in the cold abandoned train tunnel at 4 a.m. Especially He's a homeless dude who like lives there. I have no idea why this guy would be here. Oh, he I'm sure he'd like to live in your house. You done to let him? I don't know about all that. Exactly. So that's why he's there. Especially because the tunnel is in the middle of nowhere, miles away from any house. Another truly baffling part of this incident <laughs> is that the dog Max did not react at all to the creepy stranger. Bruh, the miles away from any house, like, yes, clearly he's homeless. Okay, we understand that. I knew that from the beginning. I guess he doesn't have a lot of homeless where he is. Where is this actually? Spooner's Tunnel? New Zealand. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's near Australia, right? Man, those are some strong homeless, bro. The stronger the homeless, it's like the stronger the area around them. Australia is designed to take people out. So if you live in an outback in Australia, you're basically like the closest thing to a caveman that exists. Miles away from any house. Another tr Truly baffling part of this incident is that the dog Max did not react at all to the creepy stranger. Almost like the man was not even there. It's almost as if that's not like a real security dog and maybe just like a normal everyday dog that's just like jumping around and playing and you know. Like the dog isn't even scared. He's just like running because he thinks his master is playing with him. And perhaps most disturbing <laughs> of all, why? Did whoever this was set out a creepy little toy in the path? Either way, paranormal or not, this encounter is absolutely terrifying. <sighs> Bro, you just found a homeless dude in the middle of nowhere. You fucking scared him and he dropped his toy. And you're like, what? What is that? I mean, you know what's only what's really scary is that society has failed this man. Yeah. I'm not going to start going off about this, but still. <laughs> you guys need to, ugh, you guys need to be just uh, introduced to more homeless people, I guess, or maybe not. Maybe we just need to fix that whole situation. Mister Omega, if you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost, nope. Was looking for a rental home. He found a nice forty-year-old renovated house in Japan with an incredibly low rental price. Yama was blown away and he happily signed the rental contract right away. But as you might suspect, Yama soon discovered just why the house's rental price was so low. You see, the home carries a bit of a dark history. The house's previous owner tragically passed away inside the home's bathroom from an undisclosed illness. 
only four months after Yama moves in, strange things begin to happen in the dead of night. The original is uncut, huh? Wait, that's him. Wait, that's him, right? That's yeah, that's reflection? him. That's his reflection. Okay. okay. I thought that so was a window. This is looking real. All right, this is looking real. All right. So far, so not not too bad, I guess. Yama Q starts a YouTube channel and begins to record the increasingly spooky activity around his home. Hell yeah, bro. Respect. That's what you do now. You start a YouTube. your girlfriend to start knocking on the shit or oh my gosh nothing there That's a very small toilet, bro. I could not take a night shit in there. Night after night, a mysterious knocking sound can be heard coming from the bathroom. No matter how hard he tries, Yamaku is never able to find the source. He has no idea what could be causing this terrifying phenomenon. One night, Yama is a bit disturbed when a neighborhood dog shows up at his home. The dog is usually quiet and friendly, but this time it seems distressed by something. is barking cool they tend to do that i mean i don't know the dog aggressively growls and barks at something yama can't see the next day he finds the dog back at its neighborhood home safe and sound and friendly as always but that certainly isn't the end of yama q's paranormal problems okay that's kind of only nine months after moving in he experiences something truly terrifying do it I think people just another homeless man like I don't know what it sounds so close I know I think this has to be like fake right like he has to be setting this up A blood-curdling wail can be heard coming from right outside Yama's living room window. But when he goes outside to investigate, the creepy moaning suddenly just stops. As Yama Q's YouTube audience grows, his many shocked viewers request that he get better equipment to capture the supernatural phenomenon. Well, then you're gonna sub, Yama bitch! orders a thermal imaging camera mm -hmm. and waits for his next opportunity to record and capture what's going on in his home. All right, Yama, we and are with you. this is where things take a turn towards the truly bizarre. Okay, yeah, what's one going month on? later, this happens. Uh-oh. I don't like that whale. I know, bro. It sounds more like an old person that needs help versus like anything. I mean, they did say an older gentleman passed away. All right, don't just throw hot water on some random old guy that's walking. Oh, that's Why do you have the hot water? What is that, a weapon? Fucking Sounds like he'd be right there, though. Ah! <laughs> 
Wait heck? a second, wait a second, wait a second. Could you see anything on the thermal? I was not even paying attention to it. I was, okay. Let's I was see. looking at that steam. I know, I felt like it hit something, right? Alright, so it's looking over. Okay, so it's cold kind of right here. With two cameras ready, Yama goes on the attack as he throws boiling hot water at the spot where the weeping boy seems to be coming from. Are you just gonna anger it? Okay, that's a logical reason. Whatever is making the noise seems to cry out as the scalding water is thrown, and then all goes quiet. As a skeptic, I'm wondering how he did this. Right? Could it have been like a pre-recording that he just leaves out here, like a voice recorder kind of thing that's like playing, like with speakers? And then uh, he knows specifically, like, a time when it's going to go. Aah! That's true. So he can just throw the water. That would be my guess as to how he's doing it if it was fake. But nothing shows up on the thermal imaging camera. To this day, Yamakyu still experiences horrifying events at his haunted home in Japan. But is it real? Probably the not. The voice and aggressive knocking be the spirit of the previous owner who passed away in the bathroom. Let me know what you think. A window to the soul. I remember before, let's look at some of these later ones before we, we finish off. So, uh, I remember, like, one of my biggest defenses um, would be, like, really? So you find paranormal fucking activity, so the first thing you do is put it on YouTube? That would never happen. Now it's like, yeah, he'd probably, that'd probably be the first place you put it is YouTube. Like, yeah. Yeah. うん。何これ。次さ、隣に行くかと思ったら。ああ、行こう行こう。もう何もないところには用はありません。しめだ。こう置いてる。え、発じゃね、相手なの。相手たら入るでしょ。もう入ってください。全部。ここの2階あるじ
single swing is violently swaying back and forth. But that's not all the anonymous man has captured. What? Because his work phone recorded something absolutely terrifying. Oh my. What did it record? Why is he blurred? The dark, Wait, creepy so figure of a man can be seen standing oh. motionless. That's just some fucking guy. Okay, I'm done. Okay, we're done here. This is just some dude. Like, this is just some fucking dude. You guys aren't even trying anymore. I'm over this. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. We saw some good scary videos, though, I think. Yeah. I think we saw some good scary videos. But, like all good things, I think this fucking scary, scary stream must come, to, must an come to an end yep. it must it must but thank you for joining me i kept you for what six hours and you put up with my nonsense and bullshit and uh my gaming which is even more nonsense and bullshit than my talking but i appreciate you everybody please go check out joanna banana she is awesome she is a a, a big friend of the stream and of me personally. Give her some love, please. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call it here.